Hello again. I'm happy that you have joined me uh, at my table today. I felt the urge um, to work in my uh, commonplace glue book because uh, I probably have some things that I want to uh, I want to say that I can uh, tuck under here. And uh, so let's begin by sharing some information. This is of course plain back. For the back, I planned this, uh, this piece, and I said a pocket, and I didn't know what, how, or who, but pocket nonetheless. And lucky person that I am, I received this absolutely beautiful folio uh, as a surprise from my, uh, from my good friend Erica. Thank you, Erica, from the bottom of my heart. Just a delightful. Let me share it with you. This is uh, beautifully embossed. Where to begin? Let's look first at the back. On the back, she has sent me a lovely, lovely personal letter. And she uh, did some collaging and... I'm uh, absolutely tickled. I believe that this is uh, painter's cleanup paper in green, and Erica has uh, stamped on it, and it has uh, it has turned into something absolutely lovely. And her lovely bit of um, collage. I don't know whether this is tea or coffee dyed paper but it has a uh, it has a pattern on it and so and so we open and in the middle we have a lovely uh, bit of uh, poetry Erica always manages to include a little bit of poetry when when we uh, talk to each other uh, a lovely uh, heavy butterfly for the open enclosure, field and garden notes, and, and this lovely, uh, and this lovely, lovely tag. Blossoms, unfading. That's the way I think one declares a good friendship. Blossoms unfading. And down here, ah. I think I'll open, take out these first. Your angels will rejoice. Open your heart. Take a moment to feel. This is so, so very appropriate for me uh, at this juncture in my life. I shall be, uh, I shall be looking at these quite often. And so back they go in here, and then this beautiful uh, tag that I'm, I'm wondering whether or not it says uh, expires in 1907. It might be part of some something, uh, it might be part of another piece of ephemera, but it is in this absolutely lovely um, envelope, and I do wish uh, you would tell me, Erica, um, a little bit more about that envelope. It's just, it's just wonderful. It's heavy, and yet it is somewhat, uh, somewhat transparent. Ah, and two more of these wonderful thought cards. Thank you so, so much. And this one just closes. And in here, this pocket, Contains another one of her beautifully collaged uh, writing spots. That is just lovely. I and I know I fondle paper. I love the way it feels. This is a heavy weight, and it's um, it's not flat. It's got a lovely it's got a lovely texture to it. And there I am rubbing on it. That's just one of my little strangers, this I guess. I know that many of you feel the same way about paper, especially if it feels good. Now, let me put this here. 
And then on this side, we have a another writing spot. But look at this. I just love these. I, I wonder where uh, this comes. Erica, you have so much to tell me about. Oh, those pieces are absolutely stunning. Date planted, date harvested, and notes. I'm uh, going to be, uh, I'm thinking, uh, I think I saw, what I did see was a picture. You won't see daffodils in uh, hardly ever in Florida, and if you do, uh, they they hardly last. They're uh, they're stunted and kind of pitiful um, because they don't, uh, it doesn't get cold enough in the winter for the bulbs. But I was thinking, um, I was thinking yellow today, so that's what I'm going to be featuring. Another lovely writing spot in this, in this just beautiful, beautiful gift. Thank you so, so much. And I have a fingers crossed brainstorm. Wouldn't it be nice if this works, if I glue it down here and here, which was the plan. But, wouldn't it be super fragilistic nice if I could get this to stay in my glue book. Particularly because of those sent sentiment cards. So, fingers crossed that uh, we put enough glue down here that it, uh, it holds because it certainly would work beautifully. So, that's, that's where I'm thinking on here. Okay, let me set this aside now. Out of harm's way again. And back to the front. Now I have a little something I want to show you, something that I did, and I want to explain why. If, um, <clears throat> oops, let's put this down. This is supposed to find its happy home, like right about there. These are my collage bits for today. But the last time we were together, I had uh, put down, collaged down these pieces of um, lace on this piece of uh, netting and I did very 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 little gluing because I didn't want gluing to interfere with stitching and then I had a good think and I realized that I'm liable to be carrying this with me um, over the next uh, over the next while um, and I was afraid that it was just too wobbly that the stitching that I might want to do um, might not look the way I envision it looking. So, uh, let me show you what I did. Just a minute, that's the phone. Hello, dear. Just a minute, excuse me, ladies, I'm going, just a minute. Sorry about that. My husband is, uh, uh, need, it needs to learn to uh, food shop, and so uh, he was in uh, Publix, and uh, he just had to ask a question, and of course, then it's uh, buy one, get one. Um, uh, and if you could have seen the, the, the shopping list I gave him, written out very carefully and explicitly, which shall be interesting. I know that you understand what, I, what I'm saying. So, let's get back to this. This is going down here. And what I did was, I took some of this, I believe a lot of people call it Hessian, and I, uh, I laid it down behind this for the most part. It's not up here, but that's okay. Uh, I followed the outline of this, more or less. And, as you can see, I uh, zigzag stitched it together and maybe did one, two, three, four, five tiny dots of our uh, Fabri-Tac. So that, well, 
while I'm stitching and working here, um, it gives it a little bit more bulk. It gives um, it gives the stitching process uh, that much more bulk. Of course, at the very end, I'm going to uh, trim this um, uh, trim this down uh, to maybe mm, half an inch away around the edges. This is just flapping, and if it annoys me, it'll get cut off sooner. But I thought while we're doing this, uh, before we get started today, let's pick let's pick some greens. So I've got my so my stitching utensils, and let's pick some greens. I want at least three. I want at least three shades, three different thicknesses, three different something somethings. Let me get close, 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 close. I'm, uh, I have fondle paper and I fondle, uh, I fondle fibers. <laughs> Are they the same? 149? Yes, okay. So, that might look nice. That's a possibility. What else have we got here? Oh, this one. This is some leftovers. This is definitely in the category of some leftovers. In different colors. Oh, yes. And plus a little bit of that. Definitely. Now we have some, we have the bones of our, um, uh, I'm thinking uh, a little bit of an effect of grass coming up here. So, what else? Now, there ought to be, there ought to be some, hmm, silk boucle, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, my, my. What have we here? What have we here? Hmm. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this might give us a little tiny grass spikes of this. Let's look and see. Oh, my lord, that's uh, wool. It's variegated from brown through the greens. Let's do some for blade, blades of grass, blades of grass. Now we need something with some, I uh, want something with some punch here now. Let's go, what's this, what's, what's hiding here? Well, not much, okay. Sorry, mumbling. Mumbling not allowed, I know. Mm -mm. What's that doing there? Mm -mm. Nope. Let's see what we have here. Oh, just, just tucked in. This uh, sparkle rays, just the tiniest little tuck to give a little pizzazz. Why not? Okay, mission accomplished. Next time we work, I'm going to uh, get started and show you how absolutely easy it is to do this. And I know you're saying, sure, Carol, dream on. But, okay, decision made. Put away. And we are, oh, she's so beautiful. We are here now. And I was going to do just, come on, out of the way. We are, I was going to do just the back here, but uh, I guess. 
this. It's not easy for me to do just anything. So, I want some yellow. But I also want the yellow to be just hither, thither, and yon. So, what is the best thing for hither, thither, and yon yellow? Mustard seed and the brush. Not too much. Not too much. Let's do it to it. Let's just do it to it. And not very wet. Not very wet so that nothing ugly is going to happen to these glued together papers. Just the tiniest, tiniest touch of, uh, of yellow. If I want something else, I can, uh, I can add it. Let's just get this down first. This is a nice neutral. Leaves. Aren't we all thinking about the end of winter? forward to a, uh, a pleasant weekend, coping as best we all can with this, uh, with this virus situation. I'm afraid our lives are going to uh, have some alterations forced upon them, some more than others, but, and at, uh, 76 and uh, 81, my husband and I are, uh, are being quite careful because uh, I have a health issue, so that's why my husband is uh, doing food shopping. Although I have no problem, whatever, putting on uh, gloves and a mask. Uh, if there are things in store that I uh, that I need that uh, can't be bought by uh, no matter how loving a husband, uh, anyone who thinks a thought about it would uh, can keep the thought because I think there are going to be more and more people taking these precautions. Of course, not because of age. All right. anymore. If I do, I will. Right now, not so much. Okay. Uh, cleaning. Some folks have asked me about cleaning these brushes. This is as far as I go until I don't see any color, appreciable amount of color. I'm still getting a little. So... I should do it. Make absolutely no difference to the color I would put on top of it. Okay. Clean. You over here. Now I've picked some things. Yes, I have. the pink one. Yes, it is. Breaching. Okay, let me put this group here. And I've been doing some fussy cutting. And I've been having plenty of yellow. And I've been having plenty of yellow. What do we want to do here? We want to do there. I know. Ooh, 
this one's interesting too. Hmm. What's this? Well. Some happy. Some happy spring thoughts. I know there are more. I do know there are more. There's one. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else? Might be fun. Okay. So, these are a possibility. Or not. Now. This makes me so happy. So very, very, very happy. I can write under there with just minimal, minimal gluing the way I did under her. I can do my commonplace thoughts of one thing and another. the French. I love the backgrounds. I love this, this. I'm going to uh, do some fussy cutting. I'll be back soonest. I have done some fussy cutting, as you can see. Uh, I have put down my thoughts. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to just use a little bit of this uh, PVA mixed with uh, with water on this extremely fine tip and I'm going to put this right here and a little tiny bit out here whoopsie whoopsie a little too much juice okay and bit down here and across the bottom. And the tiniest little bit on this piece. We all know it's a little bit fragile since I'm going to be the only one handling this. do it. Now, the fun bits. Let's see what we're going to make of this little puppy. I'm liking that and that. Feeling a little less is uh, less is more today. So, also got out the uh, Tim Holtz and these two bits of uh, vellum have a little yellow on them, and this one even has a birdie now. Yellow and a birdie. Yeah. 
Willow and a birdie. Well, no. You don't need to move on me now. Okay. This one also, I think, we'll just have to audition it. looking at those two. Well, we can't make up our minds until it's fussy cut. Housekeeping done. Let's see what happens now. This is back where it's supposed to be in the grand scheme of things. And my saying is down. And I know that some of you might find that uh, strange, but it's the truth. For 37 years, uh, I made a living with uh, classrooms full of children, needs, wants, etc. And uh, alone time, therefore, uh, was very and is still very precious to me. Plus, uh, it wasn't strange because uh, I'm, an only, I'm an only child. And I know how to fill up my time when I'm by myself doing things that I love. And so when I saw those words, I said, ah, why not? Why not just include them? And now what do I plan? Huh. Fussy cut that. I thought maybe, kind of cattywampus here. And we're going to execute the tip right here, a little smidge. There it is, got a smidgen. Okay. Yes. That there. Let's do it, because this other side is going to take some uh, pondering. Any suggestions, just say them. I'm sure I'll hear them. It's tucked away for uh, quite a while, and I'm happy, happy, happy to use them. Okay. 
Now, this is what happens when you have to work around your um, your focal. in tighter. Now, that's the, and now here we are with the decisions. Never seem to end. Just the tiniest, tiniest little run of PVA. Hopefully, make its magic. doing squeezies. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. You're going to get a little puffiness under there when you put wet on vellum, but... On vellum, not so good. Let's just get a little bit down here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't do that to me. Now I'm going to let that. Uh, I am certainly going to let that have a little dry time. What will we do next? What will we do next? next. Well, I just happen to have these handy. Let's see. This time, however, I'm, just, I'm not going to just pop it. I'm going to, um, I'm going to pencil down first. Very likely. Oh. Now,
Let's just go just a little bit over there. Why not? I'm going to leave this one kind of smallish. Maybe we'll just have a little, not a little one there. Okay, that brings some togetherness here to the two pages. To, uh, got to get them down so that we can really see what's happening. Maybe the, nothing else is necessary. Or, once I get started, let's see. Let's do a 207. Let's see if we can find a 207 Ultra Micro. Micro. Come on. 207. Bingo. All right. Now I'm not going to make a... Uh, try to do anything to... Uh, I want to do it uh, sketchy. Yes, I do. Okay. And... I'm never going to be happy with just four of them. It's not going to be. What am I going to do? Let's just go for it. Have to have the fifth one down there, so I might as well not dilly dally here. And uh, there we go. Now. Some leaves. Pointy. So I want soft leaves. Mm -hmm. I want soft leaves. Soft, carrot soft. Yes. And. So 
soft 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 sorry I forgot you here but I'm glad that you are Sketchy, Carol. Sketchy. I'm not working on the Sistine Chapel here. I'm going to leave the pencil marks. Yes, I am. Just because I can. It's my book. And my rules. something something how about the most minuscule amount of stamping how about the most minuscule come on come on come on able to do this now. Well, let's see, do we have a little issue here? Do we have an issue? Because we don't want one. Spread out just a little more than I expected it to. Yes, it did. Well, let's see if we can just... issue is this collage down there. See? I figured that out. <laughs> yeah. Just don't think you're going to win this little war. Is not home from grocery shopping yet. I wonder if he had to rent a U-Haul. You go there. You go there. And then you go down to there. See? I win. Could even go down for it. Now that it's cooperating, I could even go down further. There you go. I see what I need. Something. I'll be right back. Well, another toy that I haven't had out in ages. Not in ages. And right here. Let's 
There we go. Whoopsie daisy. Almost. Just enough to almost not be there. Well, I'm going to clean up and uh, and we'll have a look. Kind of leaning towards yellow, but not quite there yet. And don't, don't these look real? Yes, I'll be right back. I do hope that you have enjoyed today's uh, spread. I was feeling the uh, need for some uh, yellow because I had seen some daffodils. So, uh, a form of yellow and some particularly much-loved uh, pieces of uh, uh, collage paper that I had been uh, stashing, a piece of uh, Tim Holtz vellum, and some light pen and uh, stamping. And I think that this is laid back, but mm, loving it. I like that particular one and this one. I added a stamp here uh, in French and some of my uh, potholder. And when I am all alone, envy me the most. And I actually explained to you that uh, 37 years of my life were uh, devoted to uh, children from all ages, from uh, I think seven to, uh, well, college. And uh, that feeling of being alone is uh, therefore very valued because one gives, one gives an awful lot willingly uh, two children, and uh, that alone time is um, um, a savior. So, when I saw that, I said, ah, that's me. And I wrote a nice thought about what's, um, what's happening in my, uh, in my world right now. Let's have a closer look. love this. I have loved it for the few years that I've had it. And these uh, tags seem to go with the little person. And of course this. So, I do hope that you have um, enjoyed this spread uh, and the making. And if you do, I would appreciate have, I would appreciate your giving me a thumbs up. And uh, uh, subscribing to my channel. I'll be back seeing you soon uh, and we'll get to doing some stitching for the, um, the cover mat. Bye now.